want to live your life. If you want to jump off a cliff in Hawaii, jump off a cliff in Hawaii. But know there's consequences if you, if you hit a rock or if you don't. But you're prepared for both. But don't not do that because you're afraid of hitting the rock. Do it because you want to fall and you want to be free and you want to feel what that feels like. Because that, that is something, that is a gift. That is beautiful. That is joy. That is freedom. And you have that in you to do that. To make your choices based off how you feel, not what you think is right or wrong. How you feel is right. <laughs> That's yours. It belongs to you. You own that. And, the, and you need to celebrate that all the time. And you need to be who you are. Who are you if you're not being who you are? You're everybody else around you. You're a product of your environment. Give back. Make somebody want to change their mind. You know, challenge yourself. Challenge others. Question what you've already questioned. Not because it's right or wrong, but because you can. Because you might find a different answer this time. And you might go with that. There's so there's so many there's so many outcomes to to any event that you go to or or any situation that you're in. There there's no right or wrong. There is I didn't try, I didn't care. You either want something or you don't. But this this is your game. This is your game and you choose all the players in it. And if you want to win then you'll win. And there comes a time where, where you'll question, you know, your religion, your spirituality, what's, what's out there, what's, what is the biggest energy in the world? Do you answer to it? Is it in you? Is it in somebody else? Is it God? Is it religion? I don't know what that is for you today, and it hopefully will keep changing over time and your education and your wisdom that develops. Hopefully you're, you're blessed with that ability to, to want to be a little bit of everything, you know, and, and try to figure out what works for you, what makes you happy, what makes your energy flow in your body that's positive, you know. If you, if you decide one day that you want to, that you want to run away from everything and learn about yourself, do it. Fuck everything else. Do what you want to do, because life's really, really short, and fear is awesome. Fear is healthy. Fear is another word for protection, but it's also really hazardous to a lot of fun, beautiful, great things, and I know that you're really scared now. I get that. I know. I've been there, but you need to know that you need to let it go a little bit. Lower it down, lower down your shield. Maybe let an arrow hit you. What? Maybe that arrow is made of gold and you can buy something cool with it. <laughs> you know, but, but be open. Be open to everything in your life. Be open to rejection. Be open to failure. Because you never know what happens when you have to close a door just to open up a window. Maybe there's a great breeze coming in through there that you couldn't get through the front door. You have to be willing to see things at every angle all the time or else you're going to miss the really, really beautiful things. Excellent. 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 Now do one thing for me, okay, ready? I want you to cut, I'm not going to say the words, but it's like when you're doing the rapid thing about asking, I want you to be like, like, uh, 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 like, shh. And then don't go back into your speech, but I just want to get that. Like in other words, I want to be able to use, for you to take control. So I, you know, when you were asking those questions, I'd be like, uh huh. Yeah. Right. Okay. No. Look. Right. Shh, look. Yes. Stop. stop. Okay. So I could put that over you, and then be like, and then I'll cut to her just okay. stopping. And then you're just like, listen. I am here for lots of reasons, but I'll tell you one thing. It's the one thing I thought of. I'd be like, you, I have one really big question for you, which is that, um, you know, all year you were planning after graduation to take that round, the cross country trip, mm -hmm. and now you're not. And I just have to ask, like. Why? Because I got news for you. In my timeline, I took the trip. And I'm not saying that time that trip gets to where I am now. All I know is I remember that trip across country and it was it kind of in a way made me who I was. And I'm not saying that you have to take it. I'm saying why aren't you? Mm -hmm. 
is it fear? Is it what is it because your parents want you to go to grad school? I think that might be interesting to add, give her some advice. So it's like you're helping her out by saying, listen, this is the summer, this is the beginning of the rest of your life. Be careful with these next couple of choices because they are yours and they're very important because they lead to everything. Mm -hmm. You head out going east, it's gonna be hard to go west after a while. So that's all. Thought, now go for it. Mm -hmm. So just like interrupt her first. Okay. She's blah, 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 blah. I know, okay, yep, I know. Okay, just listen to me for one second, please. This is, this is really important, I have to ask you. Why, you've been planning to make this cross-country trip for at least the past couple of years, and to do it right after graduation, and, and why aren't you? Why are you changing that? You should go. It's really, really important that you take that time and you become powerful as a person. And you choose to go somewhere. Do something. See something. And if you don't go, then you can never come back and see what you have that's new. And appreciate what you have. And, and learn to make better what you have. That trip will be great. It'll help you. It'll help us. Not for today, not for tomorrow, but for the rest of your life. You will pull from, from that trip because you learned a lot about who you are and a lot about who you are alone and in different places and in, and in strange lands with different people. We are all, we are all the same, but we all have to share the parts we all have to give a little, take a little from everybody. And that keeps us whole, that keeps us one. We are, we are only, we are only what we don't know. And you need to learn to, to take, take some, take the questions that you have, find the answers. That's our job as people. And to, and to question something else and to answer another person's question, give them wisdom, take their wisdom, give them wisdom. That's how we, that's our energy, that's how we run, that's our fuel, as people. That's what makes us friends, lovers, enemies even. That's that. And you owe that to yourself, don't you? Don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of that. That, take that trip. Take it. I know, I know it costs a lot of money. I know, I get it. You'll figure it out, it'll happen for you. It really will happen for you, you know. We, we are, we are everything that we want to be in that moment. And it's okay if you change, and it's okay if you become unhappy. That's all right. That's great even. That's something. You're living. You are living if you can say, or if you can I, even identify with how you feel and how you want to change it, if you want to change it. You run that show. It's yours. So if you want that job, if you want to pay back those bills, you want to find love, you want to find happiness, you want to have kids, you want to win the lottery, you want to own, open that gallery, you want to do all those things, you have to be the one that chooses to do so. That is your that's your choice. It's your freedom. That's your ability. Be proactive. You know? Use what you have and find what you don't. And look for it. And have fun doing it. It'll be a really great trip for you. Please, please reconsider. I hope that you will. But look, I don't have... I don't have all the answers for you. I'm not a psychic. I don't, I can't tell you, you know, what's going to happen on July 13th, you know, 2028. 20, I can't tell you that. But I can really tell you that you are a really great person. And you are confident. And fear is okay. And you can use it as a tool. And you will find what you're looking for. And you will meet some really great people. And you will make a lot of mistakes. 
and you will learn from those mistakes. And you'll give back. And you will take. And it will be great. Have confidence in who you are, what you've done, and do something wonderful with your life. Because you can do that. You may not end up like me. You may not end up with this life. I could be anything that you want me to be.